The world is currently going a bit mad for the AI, but for carriers, it brings two existential problems. How to cope with the onslaught of AI traffic flooding their networks, but also how to make money from it. Just increasing capacity with high-speed optical technology won't cut it. What's needed is a fundamental rethink of network architecture. Well, today, my friends, I bring you glad tidings of great joy. All of the world's leading vendors, plus HPE, are developing new product lines that replace traditional LAN, WAN, and MAN architectures with something completely different. These are multi-domain solutions we're talking about, working end-to-end -end from customer premises, factory floor, or data center, all the way through the cloud. How? Well, vendors are fighting fire with fire, using pervasive AI embedded throughout the network to both manage the artificial intelligence traffic tsunami, but also to give carriers new ways to make money from it. Like any big new communications trend, this one needs a name. Now, I thought about Neural Area Network, or NAN, or Cognitive Area Network, can. I even thought about Boolean Robotic Artificial Intelligence Network, or Brian. Consider the lily! He's oh, having a go at the flowers oh, now! Him. But in the end, no. I settled on Intelligent Area Network. That's right, ladies and germs. Meet Ian. No, not that one. Yeah, that one. All the biggest vendors are now offering or developing their own Ian's. By decoupling the concept of networking from geography and scale and adding intelligence, these new network archetypes give carriers the means to rise above their traditional role of data utility, not just blindly carrying traffic by the pound on behalf of hyperscaler and OTT freeloaders, but directly profiting from the information carried within the data itself and its inherent value to the customers that receive it. Now, I'm sorry to tell you that artificial intelligence will not cure cancer in the next 10 years, as Google has repeatedly claimed. And there is currently no resolution to the meta issue of how to power the AI revolution in North America or to regulate it. However, as part of an Ian, AI can absolutely provide carriers with a path to a profitable future. Now, here's where I need your help. So far, no one has created a comparison of all these Ians. So why don't we do that together? If you or someone you know is working on an Ian or you're a carrier planning to deploy an Ian yourself, drop me a line here. I would love to hear more about your plans for Ian. And remember, it's Ian, not Brian. <laughs>